like I said, this thing. And it's easy to get lost in that nuance. Enter at your own peril. There's so much more to learn because you, you can get any part. Jesters, when we animate, tend to be very clean, broad, like I said, this thing, and you know, things that are very clean and stuff like that. But you'll find that when you talk, there's a lot of there's a lot of non gestures, there's a lot of half gestures, there's a lot of things that you start and not finish and all that, and those are a level of realism to your to your thing. There's there's a shot of Doppler, which is only like a second and a half long, and uh, he had to call someone's attention discreetly. So I got super excited about doing something because he went, Sarah, mm -hmm. what are you doing? I got super excited about just doing this, just kind of like not even looking, kind of like this sort of thing. And uh, it was so short, and it took me so long, and it looked wrong so many times, and it just. It was so subtle and the difference between it being a readable gesture and being nothing was one frame or oh if you lift this finger it's different if you bend it a bit more. It's easy to get lost in that nuance of the little things, you know. I, I say enter at your own peril. I mean if you decide to do something super unique and super, uh, the precision at which you have to work at is, is tricky. So I think it's great when they work but if you're stuck and it's not working, maybe drop it, try something else is what I'm saying, you know. You may be now wondering why keep looking for the difficult option. The answer to that is, you know how actors can get typecasted? You know how actors are like, oh, he's only good in comedies, she's only good in, uh, you know, drama. He's always playing the same character, you know. That's a limited actor that has only a limited number of gestures and performances and choices. Same thing for animation. I mean, if you don't keep growing your knowledge, live action actor needs to act the part. If I'm a, you know, 49 year old guy, then I have to play that kind of character, you know. Um, in animation, I get to animate Margu, you know, and I need to think what makes this girl sweet and how does she come across as likable and how do I um, convey that she just wants a toy without ever understanding what she's saying and all, and all that, you know. So, um, it's, it's, there's so much more to learn because you, you can get any part and uh, we should embrace that because it's great. You know? Don't get typecasted, don't get, don't get stuck on doing one thing very well, especially animation. If you happen to, somebody gives you a shot and like, hey, would you mind animating this horse and you do too great a job, then you're doing horses the whole time, you know. If you have a character on a horse, and you have to animate both the character and the horse, um, if you do a great job with the horse, no one will notice. It would just, they'd look at the guy or the character who's riding the horse, and if they do a, a, a half bad job, you'll go, that horse is wrong, you know, it just immediately does, so you're, you're, you're trapped. You have to do a great job, spend hours doing sim, something, so people will not notice it, you know, it's really, really not fun.